Hi guys, today is a Swiss chart day. In today's video I'm going to show you how I finally grew Swiss chart. And for those of you who have been for a while on my channel, you know that I tried three or four times to grow it from seed, outside, and the birds unfortunately kept eating it. So I was forced to grow it inside. So I will show you in today's video how to start Swiss chart from seed indoors and then transplant it either into a container or your raised bed garden. Uh, how I care for it, water it, fertilize it. So this Swiss chart that you're actually looking at over here was planted right outside and uh, the birds kept eating it. However, the Swiss chart seed is a cluster of seeds. So you can get anywhere from two, three to six, seven Swiss charts growing out of one seed. So uh, eventually the birds got tired and those started growing. So this is the Swiss chart that I clip from every day now for my juice. But I also have a bunch of other Swiss chart going in a raised bed garden. So I will show you that one as well. And uh, it is beautiful, it's healthy, it's shiny. I love it. And just like with the kale, I'm recycling this old egg container. And I'm gonna start by clipping that top part because I'm gonna put uh, the seedlings in there when I water them. I'll fill it up with water and I'll put the seedlings there. So I'm gonna start by removing this one. And then I'm gonna heat up my meat thermometer and drill little holes in the bottom of the cups so I can water them from there so I don't have to water them from the top. And just like with uh, all the rest of my seeds, I'm using the Jiffy Seed Starting Mix. It works very well for me and it has been for a couple of years now. And then I add water to the soil and moisten it very well so it feels, when you squeeze the soil, it feels like a sponge after you already squeezed it. So you don't need water to be coming out of the soil, but make sure that it's pretty wet. And then I'm going to fill up my egg tray with the soil and I'm going to use the site where I drilled the holes because this is where I'm going to plant the seedlings. So uh, fill it up and press it pretty firmly. And then take a pencil and drill holes where you're going to put your seeds. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the Swiss chart seeds, uh, they're a cluster of seeds, like four, five, six seeds. So uh, make sure to uh, put only one per cell because it's gonna grow more than one Swiss chard. So drill just one about quarter of an inch deep hole and place the seeds in it, then fill it up with soil again. Just put some soil on the top and press it down pretty firmly again. So for right now, I'm gonna put the seedlings in the tray, but I'm not gonna water them and I'm gonna cover them. So this way I'm gonna keep them a little bit warmer and I'm gonna keep them in the top of the refrigerator. So about three or four days later, they germinated. So at this point, I'm gonna take them down from the refrigerator. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna water them because as you can see, the soil looks very light and cracked. So I will fill up my little tray with water and let the seedlings sit there. And in the meantime, while they're uh, absorbing the water, I'm gonna take a little scissor and unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to get rid of uh, quite a bit uh, of the seedlings, quite a few of the seedlings, uh, because as I said earlier, they grow more than one Swiss chart uh, from a cluster of seeds, and we only want one Swiss chart per cell, otherwise it gets too crowded. So while they're so soaking, I'm gonna trim them down a little bit. And as you can see now, uh, after about 10 or 15 minutes, the soil looks much darker than it did before. This, how, this is how you know that your seedlings have absorbed enough water, or your soil I should say. And also you can tell by the weight of the tray because it is much heavier. And make sure if there is any excess water to uh, dump it out and then close the container or don't and put it in the window cell where they can get at least eight hours of uh, sunlight. So after about three days the weather outside was nice enough so I decided to start taking my seedlings outside and at this point it was time to water them again and that wasn't a normal watering, I used f fish fertilizer. So I diluted one tablespoon of fish fertilizer in half a gallon of water, poured it in the tray and let the seedlings sit there until the soil absorbed uh, the needed amount of liquid and after that I dumped the excess uh, liquid and put the seedlings back in the tray and I just let them be outside. 
So it was about a month until I transferred the seedlings into my raised bed garden. So within this one month, I used fish fertilizer three times and then the rest of the times I just used water. So today is March 4th and as you saw in the other video, I planted the kale and uh, today it's going to be the Swiss chard and as I mentioned before, I used to, I tried last year in September to grow these things indoors and I mean outdoors and the birds kept eating them so uh, I had to grow them indoors as you've seen in the beginning of the video and now I'm going to transplant them into my raised bed garden. And the reason I'm doing this configuration kale and then Swiss chard is because I believe, based on the size of the plants at the grocery store, that Swiss chard grows taller than kale. And since the sun is coming from this side, uh, we'll have the kale and then the Swiss chard behind it. So I'll bring you closer so we can scoop it up and plant it. So what I have here is just uh, topsoil from uh, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, so now I'm gonna scoop up the kale and I'm gonna put the shorter ones up front and the taller ones on the back just the way they grew and uh, so we're gonna start by scooping the three little guys out it's like a dessert two three all right so here, and I hope I'm spacing them well, or enough I should say. I'm limited on space, so it's gotta work out. I'll do another guy over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, did I destroy this one. I love growing things. Tell you what, there is nothing like eating something that you grew. It tastes, it might not taste different, but it that does taste better to me because I, I work to get it done. I really hope they make it because I like juicing um, Swiss chard. Swiss chard actually, if you didn't know that, promotes longevity. And I want to leave a long time because there's so many other things that I want to do. So I need more time. I met a lady, well, it's a lady that I've known for a while, but she turned 100 years in December. So she's the first 100 year old that I've ever met. And I'll tell you what, she's still pretty active gardening, traveling, back and forth from Jersey to Arizona ah, let me show you this look at these beautiful red roots all right and now I'm gonna water these guys all right I'm gonna give them a good drink of water and I will figure out how much to water them as they go depending on how hot it gets here hopefully it doesn't get too cold it's March 4th, so the cold day should be over here. And hopefully it doesn't get too hot. All right, so I'll be back in a couple of days so we can see what's going on here. Hopefully all of them survive and hopefully the birds don't eat them. As much as I love birds, I love uh, kale and Swiss chart as well. So keep watching, I'll be back. And this is the Swiss chart I planted about a week ago and it looks beautiful, I absolutely love it and as a matter of fact tonight I'm gonna clip some of the leaves, the young leaves, so I can make a salad out of them. And I had a major problem with my Swiss chard and also with my kale and my tomato plants. Uh, it happened I think two days after I planted the Swiss chard and the kale into the raised bed garden. I had aphids and they were everywhere, every single plant. Uh, all of my tomato plants, with the exception of one, were just completely covered in aphids. Uh, but I took care of the problem organically and I will do probably my next video on that. And uh, everything is good now. They're all dead. I'm sorry, I didn't clarify. The aphids are dead, not my plants. My plants are doing just fine. 
So if you guys have any questions on how to grow Swiss chard, please put them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe so you can keep up with more videos like this. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.